welcome to my kind of realistic morning routine. It's realistic in the sense of I get a lot done, but not realistic in the sense of I don't do the same thing every single day. But I started off my morning with getting some good icy water. I have a thermostat bottle that I always keep on me all the time. Plus, I always have like a glass um, icy ice water with me every morning and the night and then as i was drinking that a little bit i was reading this new book that i showed in my most recent vlog which was a day in the life vlog so if you haven't checked that out definitely go check it out i absolutely love it i'm i think i'm on like page 41 now it's like a graphic novel comic and i think it's drawn beautifully there's some really great watercolor i'm assuming watercolor um backdrops and backgrounds and it's very simplistic that it's giving me like ideas on how to move forward with like drawing my own background and such so that's really cool but mainly i'm reading this just for the actual like content and not the art though the art is really good but yeah i i'm really loving this book so what is on my agenda today so last night i wrote myself a little to-do list of not everything that i need to get done today but um like possibilities of things that i can get done today in general more or less this is what i have to do for at least like the morning and obviously i can add on to things because sometimes other things intrigue me just a little bit more with that said let's get started so i was originally going to make this a like painting video but i one i didn't really like how the lighting was um and yeah there's just a bunch of shadows being casted onto the page which i don't think it's that like necessarily like a bad thing but i decided that you know what i'm just gonna kind of keep it a little bit more casual so i didn't actually end up one obviously making this into a video we're seeing the full process here in this vlog instead of like a an actual like video um and two i didn't actually like fully finish it um uh, mainly so far with gouache i'm just trying to at least besides the first like my first video i ever made with the gouache i'm kind of just trying to like you know it's like all supposed to still be practice like i don't want to kind of get in this realm of like doing finished art to the point where i'll end up being disappointed and it's so easily like for at least for me my mind to get easily manipulated um into like that thought process so if i go in with like it's like it's okay if it's like ends up not looking the way you want or if it's okay if it's not completely fully finished or polished if i go with that mindset i'm a lot it's a lot easier for me to just kind of like accept and be satisfied with the work that I actually end up doing than actually um or like compared to like getting upset that I actually didn't get anything done or like it doesn't look like the way I want so yeah I wanted to recreate a like a, a painting that I did earlier this year in my um second sketchbook and so yeah I just wanted to recreate it um, I kind of switched it up a little bit and I made the flowers yellow because I was actually running out of white gouache and I've been meaning to do like get a refill but it hasn't really happened yet so I was running out of white um yeah I could have made I wanted a yellow tint or a yellow like undertone and then the like little remaining of white that I had like put that on top which I still end up doing but I feel like um the yellow was a little a lot more darker or like a lot more prominent than i thought it was going to be even though when i put down the white it was more opaque and this one was um very watery similar to like watercolor um it still showed underneath so maybe if i added a lighter coat of yellow so it wouldn't peek through so much but also at the same time i didn't have enough white so yeah that's that um yeah so i might maybe in a later date add color pencil i don't know if color pencil can go go on top of gouache but I want to see about adding color pencils and try to finish this with color pencils instead of like breaking out the gouache set um, every time. But I feel like slowly I'm understanding things a little bit more. Maybe if it's not like too noticeable. Like I feel like personally I'm slowly understanding things a little bit more. And so maybe I'll recreate like the first ever gouache piece that I did or attempt another big like 
page illustration like that where, where there's going to be like various um different colors um i think i'm gonna try to attempt to paint a studio ghibli or ghibli screenshot i remember i was supposed to do that in gouache but i instead did it with the um i did it digitally in my xp pen so i have a video on that like a start to finish like me doing it on my xp pen and i really like that slight digital painting that i was attempting there and so i'm not gonna use the same screenshot but maybe like go back down that route that i was originally going to do and um try that but with gouache um i did need to just practice a little bit more before doing something like that and maybe find a screenshot with less foliage because i i don't know i always tend to like be really bad painting like like bushes of leaves but yeah I am pretty proud of myself, and I'm glad I was able to do this. It only took me exactly an hour to do, which was surprising. But at the same time, it wasn't really, like, a long process, so it does make sense. Um, with that said, let's continue with the rest of this routine. And let's see what else I do right before I head out for my afternoon classes. After I worked on that piece, I like to kind of wind down right before my afternoon classes. So maybe that's like taking a nap or, you know, quickly doing some homework. Um, but for this particular day, I decided to do some gaming. And usually I like do it on my phone or like on my iPad so I can just lay down in bed. But I decided to go on the Xbox um, and play some Amari. I've heard really good things about it, and if you're familiar with the game, you can tell that I'm still in the early stages of it, but I don't know, I just really like the visuals and just how, so far, how calming it is, because I know um, the type of game uh, Omari is, so yeah, I don't know, I'm anticipating some stuff, but yeah, after this, um, typically I probably squeeze in something else so maybe reading or another artwork but essentially this is my morning um yeah it's reading in the morning jotting down what i'm doing for the day or for the week doing some art maybe one or two different artworks in the morning and if i do like one personal art usually i record a lot of my videos in the morning as well and then I do something to wind down, like gaming or something. And then afterwards, I just made some food for my sister and I to eat before our classes. Hi guys, so uh, I have to wrap things up a little bit, but I want to show this piece that I'm uh, currently working on. Every so often, I remember about like <laughs> semi-realism digital painting, and I like try my best to like, you know, just do it. And yeah, so this is my second, I guess, digital painting that I'm doing this year because I did one earlier this year. And I just, it's like a way for me to kind of like just kind of show my progress in terms of like the specific type of painting. Um, because yeah, I don't really have a painterly style in my like already existing stylized like art style. So I like to do this just kind of for fun and for practice, um, you know, for myself to kind of see my growth. So yeah. I found this picture of Harry Styles on Pinterest as I was looking for something to, to do. And I'm not like a big Harry Styles fan, but I really did like the um the picture, so I wanted to attempt it. And yeah, after I did the sketch here, I used obviously a flat brush to block in the whole entire skin tone. And then usually from there, I would jump into painting. But instead, I decided to block out the colors also with the flat brush instead of like my render brush or the brush I use for like rendering and painting or or something else. So I did that and then I blended everything out with the flat brush. And then I'm going in with my own rendering brush slash uh, like a pencil textury brush and, you know, slowly like building stuff out, blending it out, putting more stuff on top, blending it out things like that hopefully that makes some some sort of sense but i'll show you what the uh mm, the reference i have so this is the reference this is my art don't look at the hands i know i messed up on them but i'm hopefully in the um over painting stage which is just like me painting on top of the sketch um i'm able to like clean clean some of this up and and fix anything um but yeah who knows if i actually end up finishing this but Whenever I have the chance, I just want to chip away at this just a little bit. 
But yeah, with that said, it is time for me to go to school. So I'll see you guys later. Can it really be a vlog by me if I didn't really show the numerous books that I just recently bought? Yeah, I don't think so. So first up, I got a new graphic novel that I'm really excited to kind of read about and really happy. The main character girl is plus size, so that's pretty cool. You don't really see that much, like that type of rep much in like media and all types of sorts so that's pretty cool i'm happy to read this one um of course i got a new sketchbook do i really need this no because i'm still i still have a lot of weight in my own sketchbook but i don't know i like that my sister also picked up the same sketchbook so that's pretty cool um this is another book that i got <laughs> i have a lot of books another one another one even more even more this one is really interesting as well i'm really excited to read about this one it's about like i think it's like eight stories about women and their bodies um so yeah very excited and then lastly this one so yeah quite a bit so i have about five minutes before i have to leave so i just kind of want to show you what i pack in my bag because unlike my day in the life vlog, I have a full day today instead of just one class. So I have my iPad. Sometimes I go between like my iPad, my laptop, or Chromebook. But today's the last like official like complete work um, for like the semester. And tomorrow is technically the last day of school. But I don't actually have to do any work tomorrow. So I decided to just be my iPad to take it easy. I have the Rolling Blackout Journalism graphic novel that I have been reading since that day to life vlog i always bring my thermostat water bottle with me um you can never have too much gum so that goes in there as well i always bring my charger that goes in there i have my camera bag because i have my photography class today um and then the back pocket i usually have like sharpeners uh gloss hand cream things like that yeah not exciting but yeah this is what i'm bringing for school so that is my routine it differs day to day but i do the same things typically reading art gaming cook etc so hopefully you guys enjoyed this routine i had a full days of class and thank god my sister goes to the same school as me so it's easier to get through the day together um you can see her boot in this shot here but with that said thank you guys so much for watching like comment subscribe if you want to jen and i will see you in another video have an amazing day peace bye